Hey, if you enjoy my content, please consider picking up a copy of my latest spooky short novel, Megawatt vs. The Vampires of the Sun. Available alongside another huge selection of family-friendly content at EnterTheLostLibrary.com. I guarantee we've got a good read for you. And we're back! Happy Valentine's Day, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to Crypto Comics Lonely Hearts Club. Did you really think I would let you down on my lonely men in Webtown who have no date for Valentine's Day? Oh no, oh no. Your boy Crypto is back with a look at another totally awesome comic book. This one from Rob Liefeld's Extreme Studios and Image Comics. It is Profit Issue Number Zero. Enter Exile. Exit Light. Enter Exile. Oh, that, didn't, that didn't make any sense, sorry. But what makes sense is this stunning wraparound cover by the one and only Dan Pinotion, the original artist on Profit Volume 1 from Image Comics, later to be replaced by the one and only Stephen Platt. So I'm excited to share this gem with each and every one of you beautiful people in Webtown this Valentine's Day. And we're going to get right into it. This is from July of 1994 and came out, I want to say... In between issues six and seven of the first volume of Profit from Extreme Studios and Image Comics. Created by Rob Liefeld. Writer and artist Dan Pinotion. With colors by Linda Medley. And right off the bat, I want to tell you this is not the origin of Profit, just so you know. I don't want you to get confused, beautiful people in Webtown. Not the origin, just because it's the issue zero. But it is an interesting piece of Extreme Studios history. As you'll see at the end, we'll talk about that part at the end. A church is a house of worship, a place to petition prayers and receive penance. It's also at times a sanctuary. John Prophet and myself, you can call me Kirby, have taken up residence here. A little secret hideout, if you will. The world knows and fears Prophet as an outlaw. I know him otherwise. I call him a friend. Is that the best you can friggin' do, you big dumb lug? Except, of course, when I'm trying to motivate him. Then I call him every name in the book. If old Doc Wells enhanced all my natural physical attributes, I'd be slamming ass shoulder press through the friggin' roof. Watch the language. This is still a church. A church with a solo flex from hell. Give me a holler when you decide to get serious. Ugh. Oh, I'm working out. What? Breaking news? DLCC transmission to profit. Onboard emergency. Hostile attacker. Approach with extreme car. Good smash! Kirby! Take it easy, kid. With the noise you make, the bad guys won't have much of a problem finding us. Oh, no. You know, we can't exactly go to the sporting goods store, walk down aisle three, and pick one of these babies up, kid. DOCC is under attack. I don't know by who or by what, but we have to stop it. That satellite is my lifeline. Without it, my system can't regulate or repair itself. When I find whoever's responsible... Calm down, kid. We need a way to get there, and I know someone who owes me a favor or two. There's no way he'd let us down. Absolutely not. I can't authorize the use of a space transport unit without proper clearance. You know that. Besides, this DOCC satellite? There's not even data that it really exists. Profit and I ain't in a fairy tale business. DOCC's out there. And if it blows, the kid's pretty much history. This is serious stuff, Shaft. When have you ever known me to exaggerate things? Actually, there was that time in Hong Kong when you- Forget Hong Kong! Remember Operation Ram's Head? The time you took two bullets for me? You saved my life. I do, but... But nothing, kid. Prophet was there with us up against Darkthorn, and despite what the government says about him... You know he's one of us. That all took place in Youngblood, issue number two. If you didn't know, beautiful people. Check it out. Image Comics playlist. I know that. I know all that. But Youngblood's not an autonomous organization. I can't just hand over a $10 billion spaceship. 
You know it's not as simple as you make it out to be. Ten billion dollar spaceships never are simple, kid. I know it means breaking some rules. Catching hell from graves. The sort of thing we went through south of the border. We disobeyed direct orders. And as a result, we saved 150 lives that day. I guess we never gave much of a thought to breaking rules back then. Rules ain't for heroes, kid. No, they aren't. Meet me at the base before I end up regretting this whole thing. Click. Kid thinks of me as his father. I bet I could have got him to throw in a microwave, too. Shortly. How soon will we disembark, Kirby? We're almost there, kid. I'm pushing this crate as fast as it'll go. I haven't seen this hunk of metal in years. Somehow, it looks different. Memory's usually the first thing to go, Johnny. Let's hope I can still shoot straight. Make sure you do, Kirby. Once inside. I hear a lot of racket, but with the acoustics in this place, it's hard to tell where it's coming from. DOCC has a defense system. Whoever's here was powerful enough to shut it down. Be careful, friend. I don't play careful. Not when the stakes are this high, anyway. Fork in the road. What do we do, kid? We split up and shoot anything that moves. Anything that moves, huh? All the debris this guy created seems to be moving all on its own. Noise is getting louder down here. I got a nasty feeling I'm about to meet our potty crasher. What the hell is that? Kirby. Why, it is you, isn't it? Welcome back to my father's house. I apologize for the mess. I've been decorating. I don't know who you are, how you know my name, or why you think that you're Doc's son, but I do know that you're in for a hurting. Well, see, you do know something after all. Now tell me, lad, is my dear brother Prophet with you? I would like very much to kill him. How about I kill you instead? Barack, 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 Barack Obama! Still playing with guns, I see. Here, huh? I believe uh, these belong to you, huh? You shouldn't leave your toys lying about. Someone could get hurt. <laughs> the Wachowski stole this from me and put it in the Matrix. Bet you didn't know that, huh? Fun fact. Allow me to return them to you. Ta! Having already heard the gunshots, Prophet increases his stunning pace at the sound of his comrade's blistering scream, and suddenly he finds himself face to face with the main spring of Kirby's pain. This is working out splendidly. Our dear father could not suppress me, and neither could young Kirby. And now it appears dear old dad is sent for you, and in doing so, he has unknowingly laid before me the object of my abomination. You speak in riddles, trespasser. And no I shall speak the truth. I believe in the forgiveness of sins. Therefore, I bid you surrender and stop this madness. Get him off of me, kid. I had hoped that you would simply attack, enabling me to greet you with an embrace of death. But now I'm moved by your kindness, and I will repay your gracious offer with one of my own. You are free to leave and die in the place of your own choosing. For when my task is complete, and our father's house is destroyed, your life will be forfeit, and then I shall fulfill your prophecy. With your own twisted words, you have sealed your fate. May God have pity on your soul, for I shall not to be continued. Bum bum bum! So what's going on here? In this interview with Dan Pinocean, you would discover that this was a prequel to a book called Prophet Unleashed, which was never actually released. And based on this interview, it seems that uh, they had spent some time working on something here. This character Exile was created specifically to lead into the secondary Prophet Unleashed series. But whatever happened to him? Well, here's the thing. This is what I'm thinking, beautiful people in Webtown. And I have a feeling the Crypto Knights of the Long Box would probably agree with me. Our boy Exile here eventually morphed into the character Crypt, who you can find out a lot more about in the Extreme 
Sacrifice crossover series we have previously covered here at Crypto Comics in the Image Comics playlist. And I have to admit that Crypt is a vastly superior design to Exile here, who was designed, I guess, to be Prophet's alter brother or nega brother or something of this nature. It's certainly what it seems like they're setting up here. He certainly does look like Prophet. I, as I was reading this, I thought this was Prophet for a second because he does look the same. Um, and I realized quickly, no, no, they're just keeping, they're maintaining the color palette. They didn't make a mistake there. Very good. Because he doesn't have the really awesome Shatterstar headpiece on. Why was this popular in the 90s? I don't know. It's still, it's still cool looking too. I love it. So uh, I'm happy to have presented this little unique slice of Extreme Studios history for all you beautiful people in Webtown. So if you agree with me that Exile here did evolve into Crypt eventually in the Extreme Sacrifice crossover, tell me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this look at a harder to find issue in Prophet's history, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, then hit this bell down here and one of you will be randomly selected to have the alternate evil version of yourself attack you next time you go to a movie. But don't worry, I've got a few tips for you. First off, you'll recognize him because he'll likely either have a scar on his face or a goatee, but otherwise will look just like you. Second, it's my understanding that all you have to do to defeat the evil version of yourself from another dimension is just give him a nasty ball twist. And hey, by the time he's done knocking the hell out of the concession stand, you'll be a hero to the people in attendance. Which means maybe, just maybe, someone will make a comic book about you that we'll cover right here at Crypto Comics. Best of luck to that random lucky hero who's selected for hitting the bell down there. And I look forward to sharing your story with everyone else in Webtown as soon as the comic is released. But until then, dive into the long boxes and find yourself another totally awesome comic book review from your boy here at Crypto Comics.